Hey everyone, Chris Meets here. Today we're gonna go over our Canva integration. This is a, a great time saver, can save you tons of time and really make the process of creating your print-on-demand products faster than ever. So there are three main features with our Canva integration that I wanna go over with you today. Um, the first is gonna be the ability to create new designs at the correct dimensions. So it's really gonna help get that initial template started for you in Canva without having to go in and figure out the correct designs, especially when you get into larger format products. The second is gonna be the ability to import PNGs directly from Canva, saving you the time from having to download again at the correct dimensions and then uh, save that to your computer and then re-upload it into Anywhere POD. And then our third is what we call our one-click magic import. That's gonna import the entire design from Canva, including all of the design layers, making it super easy and super fast to set up any of your personalized products. So the first thing we're gonna to wanna to do is connect to our Canva account. So to do that, all we need to do is here on our dashboard is click on connect to Canva. And this is gonna take us to authorize the connection for Anywhere POD to your Canva account. And we just need to select allow on that. And now we're gonna have our Canva account connected and we can start using our Canva integration. So the first thing that I want to show you is how you can easily create your designs in Canva at the correct dimensions without having to go back and forth and find the correct dimensions for the product and, and type it in. This is in particular useful if you are doing a larger format product such as a blanket, um, because as you know, in Canva, you cannot design at the full size dimensions that are required by the uh, supplier. So what you have to do is end up dividing the dimensions by either two or three, and then remembering when you export to export it at the right dimensions. Um, so instead of having to go figure that out and, and do kind of do that calculation for each design, Anywhere POD is gonna take care of that for you. And you can just instantly start creating the design at the correct dimensions that are required by Canva right out of the gate. So to take a look at that, we're gonna come in and take a look at a custom cat blanket here. So we're gonna go over to our blankets category. And then here, if we come into our 60 by 80 uh, fleece blanket here, we'll go to start designing and we'll just close out of this window for now. And you'll see right here, we have this new option that says create new design. So if I click on that, this is gonna automatically open up a new blank design for us inside of Canva at the correct dimensions that are required for this product. In this case, it's 3150 by 4150, and everything's gonna be set up for us to uh, start creating that design. So now that we have Canva connected to Anywhere POD and our first design created, let's go over how you can import a non-personalized PNG uh, into Anywhere POD directly from Canva without having to download. So we're gonna start that process again here in Anywhere POD. In this case, we're gonna be going over a Shine On acrylic plaque that we have created in our Canva account. So we're gonna come up here and go to View Products on Shine On. Over here on the left, we're gonna select acrylic for our category. And this is gonna be a square acrylic that we're gonna create. So we're gonna to go to Start Designing. And now here at the top, we wanna to click Add from Canva. And you can see in here, I have listed all of my designs that I have made and are available in, uh, in my Canva account. So we're gonna start with this uh, square acrylic plaque. Uh, this particular design has multiple pages. It is page one that we want to import in this case, but if we wanted to import other pages, we can select that from the drop down here. So in this case, we're gonna import uh, page one and we're gonna import that as a PNG. Now you have the option here if you wanna make this PNG transparent or if you want to uh, import it with whatever background you have set in Canva. In this case on the acrylic, uh, we really want that uh, transparent effect to be able to show through the transparent acrylic. So we're gonna click on yes, make it transparent. And you can see now in just a couple of seconds that was able to import that PNG directly from Canva. We ensure that it is exported from Canva at the correct dimensions. So you don't need to worry about that. Um, if it is a blanket or anything else that's large format, we make sure that we import it from Canva that it's at the correct dimensions. So we have that imported here and it's all ready to go. We're just gonna select our variant options at the top and we're ready to create the product and uh, have that designed and, and ready to move forward. 
Now lastly, and probably our biggest benefit to the Canva Anywhere POD integration is our one-click magic import. This is gonna import the entire design from Canva as, as an editable template, as though it was originally created in Anywhere POD, so we can easily check off the layers that are personalized and be able to create some of those more complex personalized products without having to do any additional work inside of Anywhere POD. Um, all the majority of all your work is gonna be done inside of Canva. So we have a couple of uh, great uh, uh, examples to show you here of a couple different designs on what you can do. So uh, let's jump into it, we'll take a look at that. So the first example that we're gonna go over is creating a text personalized ornament. Um, so to get started, we're gonna come in here to the product catalog again and come over to our ornaments. In this example, we're gonna use uh, just the ceramic ornament here at the top. So we're gonna go to start designing. And again, we're gonna go add from Canva. Now, if we scroll down here, you'll see we have kind of a, a Valentine's Day themed um, ornament here that we have designed in Canva. Again, we just went to page one. So I'm gonna select import layers this time. And this is the process that's gonna pull in all of those individual layers from Canva and allow us to just check the pieces that need to be personalized. So you can see this is set up in the same way that we had it designed in Canva. And all we need to do is come to our two layers that are personalized and check off that personalized box. In this case, we're just gonna do a circle ornament. And just like that, without any additional configuration, um, we pulled in the correct font size, the correct font, the correct font color, and have everything set up to where all we need to do is mark those as personalized and click create product. And now this personalized product is ready to go and be listed and start receiving sales right away. The next example that I wanna show you guys is a photo collage blanket. Um, so this is really nice because um, we're able to utilize the frames that are inside of Canva and have those automatically work with our crop to custom shape tool inside of Anywhere POD as well. So it makes the setup process for that a breeze and, and go so much faster. So again, we're gonna come in and look at our custom cat blankets here. And we'll go to our 60 by 80 fleece blanket. And again, we're gonna go add from Canva. In this case, we have this uh, blanket here that has nine different personalized images and some personalized text. So we're gonna click on import layers on that one. So now that that's imported here, we can see that all of our images in the correct size and shape have all imported for us directly from Canva. Um, our text is down here imported as well. So we're gonna go ahead and mark that text box as personalized. And if we take a look at our images here, you'll see each one is set up already as a personalized image and is set up to crop to custom shape so that it can uh, fill that exact same square space that is on the blanket. Um, you can see in this case, we need to adjust our image a little bit because it's cutting off just the top of the heads there. Um, so we also have this set up so you can open our cropper tool here in Anywhere POD and easily be able to make that adjustment without having to upload any additional files. So we'll just move that selection up a little bit and that's gonna give us a, a little bit better mock-up when those are generated. So each one of those images is already set up and marked as personalized. So we don't need to make any additional changes to this product. You can see a fairly complicated product here um, and the setup process is super, super fast now. Once you have it designed in Canva, you don't have to duplicate any additional work in Anywhere POD. So we'll click Create Product. And again, this one's gonna be set up with the personalization and all set and ready to go. While we're talking about image uploads and frames in Canva, this even works for some of the kind of more complicated frames that are available inside of Canva. So you'll see here is kind of a, the, the base of a popular Mother's Day design where you have a photo upload that's gonna be in the shape of an M, a heart and an M to spell out the word mom. Um, in this case, even uh, these kind of more complicated shapes that are more uh, intricate than just you know squares or rounded corners, those work with the import as well so that the uh, images will already be cropped to the correct shape in Anywhere POD. So even something a little more complicated like this, the uh, image upload process and the crop tool is all gonna function with these types of frames as well. 
And lastly, I wanna show you guys one more example that's another great benefit of this new Canva integration, um, and that is the ability to pull in if you're doing any of the kind of figurines or, or chibi art or any other type of clip art designs. Um, you can now easily be able to pull those designs into anywhere POD and not have to reconfigure the placement of every single piece of clip art inside of anywhere pod um, it's just again all going to be set up for you so this will work if you're doing uh, birth flower clip art really any kind of clip art at all this will work i do have an example uh, that i'm going to show you here of the kind of chibi figurine art um, because those designs are usually a little bit uh, more involved to set up um, and this really makes that process so much easier but this works with any type of clip art design that you guys want to offer so again, in this case, we're gonna be building an ornament. So I'm gonna come over here to my ornaments category. We're just gonna use this uh, ceramic ornament here at the top again. And again, we're gonna select add from Canva. And in this case, we just have a little example of a figurine here. Um, <clears throat> obviously, a lot of times you would, uh, you know, have other elements around on this design. I just really wanted to be able to show you uh, a quick demo with just the figurine. So we're going to go ahead and import layers for that one. That's going to pull in this design with those individual elements already kind of built and laid out for us. So the only difference is you can see here now these are created as just individual images. So it's essentially used uh, this uh, add image option here instead of our clip art option, which is what we really want to add to um, our design that really gives that layer of personalization to the customer. So what we have now is an image layer. We just need to convert that to clip art. So right here, you can see we have an option here that says convert layer to clip art. So we're gonna select that. And then we're just gonna select from the proper clip art that we already have loaded in our account in Anywhere POD. So in this case, this one was the boy hair. And then I just need to do the same thing to the two other elements. So here's our shirt that I'm gonna convert to the shirt. And then lastly, we have the skin color here that we want to change to our skin tones here. And now that has our entire clip art set up and we didn't have to do any of the additional configuration in anywhere POD, making that process super simple and a lot easier to manage. So we hope that you guys found this tutorial helpful on how to work with Canva and Anywhere POD. If you have any questions or comments at all, please uh, feel free to leave that down in the comments down below. If you have any questions and wanna reach out to our support, we're more than happy to help at any time. You can reach us at support at anywherepod.com. I hope you guys have a wonderful day. Thanks a lot for joining me.